What's up guys, I'm back here at Pascagoula Park, uh, as always, and it is a hazy, overcasty, strange day. I think there's some rain coming, I don't know if you can see in the distance. Um, just wanted to do a quick look at the uh, Yak Gadget uh, anchor pole setup and how I have decided to do it uh, a little differently. So first off, the, um, let me get the pole out. So you can order it with or without the pole if you have your own pole. Um, that's fine. Ooh, I hope the, fan... the wind got worse, so I, I'm just doing a voiceover. Um, here I'm about to show how the anchor pole will fit inside the Bonafide, just like the rods will. Um, the pole looks to be about seven and a half, uh, maybe eight foot tall. Uh, I'm six foot, I'm just showing a comparison. So it comes with these lockers, uh, collars that go on. You're going to need a Phillips head screwdriver every time you go out. So you're going to have to keep that in your tackle bag. I added this stainless steel carabiner to it um, for my own setup, but it didn't come with it. The other is a stopper that's going to stay at the top. It's going to keep the pole from falling out the bottom. Um, you can put it right on the end. Uh, I set mine about six inches from each end. Uh, six inches from the top, six inches from the bottom. That gives me uh, a good amount to, to get down into the silt and sand or even the oyster beds is what I'll run into in a minute. I like my kayaking to be real simple. Um, having that, having to carry the screwdriver, a uh, little aggravating, um, but it's okay. Uh, I may change that out to like a wing nut or something later. Um, you got your bottom piece down here. You got a, a pulley right there. I'm gonna rope through, and lift it up and down for you. But I've decided I want to try something a little different. I may end up going to the uh, uh, the Anchor Wizard uh, reel. I may end up doing that after the fact, but right now I have decided to give this a shot because I want to see how it'll work. First of all, um, so I got these universal clips here. I've drilled some holes in this. I don't really know where I want it. I don't know exactly, like I said, I'm, I'm just giving this a shot today to, um, just to see how it'll, how it'll work. Okay, so the way this thing works, it's a dive reel, and this is Spectre cable. All right, so how you release it <clears throat> is this. So I'm gonna take, and I'm gonna release me some out so I can run it back. my anchor i've also ordered some of these online just some eye eye bolts to use as guides sorry about this wind's blowing rain's coming Eesh. so i i decided to use the spectra that came on the the winch strictly because i could leave this um this eye in the end of it and the knot and it'll still go through the pulley and it still works great this lever so it'll just go I'm gonna have to get the anchor wizard and mount here 
in this spot because this is a little harder to wind than I thought it was going to be. But if nothing else, I still got the ability to wind it up on my uh, in my hand. It comes with this plate and then this plate. Now, if you look on the website, it doesn't have this piece right here. Um, I don't think so yet. It may. I just haven't seen it. But um, JT sent me this one to bolt onto it. So the idea, I, I didn't bring it because I was kind of in a hurry leaving. The idea is um, if I wanted to use my regular anchor, then I could just run the rope through here and uh, use a standard anchor and just let it dangle right there behind me. And that'll lift it up enough out of the water that it's not creating a bunch of drag. So very cool idea. Um, I added this. It's my visibility pole mount, so that doesn't come on it. Uh, just this plate, it comes with the hardware to mount it right up. Um, comes with the threaded pieces, goes right into the bonafide. And um, man, it was just, it was super easy. It even comes with the uh, paracord to use as the handle. Uh, I didn't bring it. I was gonna try this idea out first because this is what I want to work. Um, probably gonna end up getting the anchor wizard uh, before it's over with. So, Ooh, plenty of rain coming. All right. Well, that's it, guys. Um, I'm gonna go give it a try. Let's get some shots on the water, and I'll tell you how it goes. You can see here uh, I'm sitting pretty steady I was in some kind of sandy bottom uh, later I'll be in some like a oyster bed style um, just to finish up I really like the anchor pole uh, set up from Yak Gadget uh, I will be trying out the um, anchor wizard I think it'll be easier to uh, retract especially if there's actually an anchor back there uh, but for the pole, honestly, the uh, dive reel was not that bad. It wasn't that bad at all. It took a little time to, you know, click it back up like I was doing. I was having to grab the whole spool and turn it with my hand. Uh, so it wasn't as free and easy as what the Anchor Wizard would be. But then again, it takes up a lot less real estate than the Anchor Wizard also. So, <clears throat> and it's, uh, it's, I can take it on and off easy, but you can't Anchor Wizard either. But all in all, it's a great product that I'll continue to use. Uh, so far, the two things I have from Yak Gadget are the uh, pod mount uh, for that trolling motor that you see me using um, in front of me, and the anchor pole setup. So, very pleased, very happy with it. Um, uh, very happy with customer support. Uh, JT is, has been pretty awesome at replying to emails and even messages, text, whatever. Uh, <clears throat> they're a great company, and I highly, highly recommend trying to take that.